Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also comment, let me know your thoughts on the case. Birmingham rapper Marnes Malone, Double M, is the definition of a person who made the best out of a bad situation after being sentenced to 11 years. While in HMP serving, he has established himself as one of the best UK rappers in the scene right now. He also allegedly signed a six-figure record deal and is also pushing his own label and was able to change his mum's situation by gifting her £10,000 all behind a cell door. Now it's just a shame that it took a hefty sentence like this for Marnes Malone to actually value his life and his situation. Now Marnes Malone, real name Kamani Shaw, was a real problem in the B19 area and for Britain's second largest city, Birmingham in general. The then 21 year old GM and part time rapper had rolled his bike and went to the B16 territory, Hockley, actively looking for people he had problems with, with two mates, on May 6th of 2019 at roughly 5pm. Now at the time, Marnes Malone was armed with a pistol that was said to have been communal, meaning all members of the B19 collective had access to it when needed. Now when Marnes Malone was on Whitmore Street in Huckley, he pointed his gun and aimed it at a Honda after getting into a shouting match with the driver and its passengers. The fact that Marnes Malone and his mates all pulled out their guns and advanced at the Honda meant that they knew the driver and his mates were rivals. Now hindsight is an impeccable thing, so the best thing that happened to Mons Malone was that he could not press the... In response, the group decamped their Honda and chased Mons Malone and his friends into the underpass. Initially, Mons Malone tried to cycle away, but his feet got tangled and then he tried to run. Now of course, Mons Malone was caught, surrounded, trapped in the underpass of Hockley Circus. With nowhere to run, he was stabbed a mammoth 20 times by at least three different blades. Now at the time of the highly charged and intense incident, Marnes Malone was with his mate, Clark Tassati, who had actually fled the scene on his own push bike, leaving Marnes Malone in a red mess unmoving in the underpass in a bad, bad way. Now thankfully a good Samaritan was able to call emergency services and Marnes Malone was transported to Queen's Elizabeth Hospital in critical condition. Now ambulance crew saw target areas to the calf, back, shoulders and thigh. Now, his wounds were so severe that he was placed in intensive care. As for Mars Malone's friend, Clark, he was absolutely 100% fine because the courts reported that Clark was caught on CCTV the very next day walking around without a care in the world. And again, the very next day, Mars Malone's friends went to the hospital and went to visit the rapper. Within a span of 24 hours, retribution was advanced, which led, which led to the fatal shooting of Dante Mullings. Again, that happened in a span of 24 hours. Stay safe, safe.